Hello, welcome back again to another class of uh, HTML. So today, um, we will continue from our previous class. So in our uh, last class, we have learned how to create a table and then after that we have learned how to create a table using a column span and then row span. So out here we have um, the output of our last class. So today, in this class, what we are going to learn is that um, we will try to add some uh, background color to our tables or else like a uh, background color to each of uh, the cells and then uh, again we will try to change the phone color inside this table so um, let's get started so first thing what we have to do is we have to go to our folder where we have already saved our HTML pages and then after that this is my table this this one what, what I have opened inside uh, my browser so since we want to modify this one let's open it in notepad okay now first thing what we have to do is let's try to add a background color to all of this table okay now if you want to add a background color to a table we have to give the background color inside this table deck okay so let's try it you can add anywhere inside this one so let's try to add here so pg color is equal to let's give equal right so to add a background color for a whole of the table is pg color is equal to equal which we have to declare that inside our table deck so let's save it and then let's check it inside our browser okay so we already have the color for our table but suppose like if you want to have a separate color for each of these different cells for in that case we have to give that color inside a table data or a table row so let's um if you want to give a color to all of this row you have to give it inside declare that color name inside table row or else you can give it inside table data so if you want to give the same color for the whole of the row for example in a single row there may have uh, three different columns right so if you want to give a color to all of that row or else all of the three columns you have to give the background color inside table row or else if you want to have a um, different color for each cells we have to give the background color inside table data so let's try this um, table row pg color is equal to let's try yellow all right now let's save it and then let's go back so if you give a yellow color for this table row all of this table data will be get affected so the, the background of this one will be an um, yellow so we all, we have it now okay so again let's try for this one and then this one for the first courses this one so instead of a table row if you want to give a background color inside table data for a single cell you can give it out here so like um pg color is equal to let's try orange okay so the table data will have orange in color so let's add for this one also courses let's go down out here pg color is equal to orange okay let's save it and then go up here and then check it so that's how we can change um background color now so now let's try to add for this one also long term courses so for long term courses since we have only one table data you can give it inside table data or else inside table row so um, pg color is equal to yellow okay let's um try it here so um, that's how um 
uh, we can add different colors so all of uh, for all of the cells or for all of this row we can um, go on adding uh, different uh, colors so like for example out here we have a uh, one row in this one row we have two columns now if you want to have a different color for both we have to keep it inside table data but if you want it for that whole of that row we have to keep it inside so let's try pink okay so that whole of that row will have this pinking color right now let's try different color for this cell and this cell so since we want a different color for each cell so we have to do it inside this one purple after that let's try pg color is equal to let's try green so let's save it let's go to our browser and then refresh it so all of the cells will have a different color so it depends on uh, depending on uh, wh whether you want to change the color of whole of the row whole of the table or whole of the dog um, cells uh, accordingly we can add the background color so um, all these things uh, we can achieve using uh, CSS also but for the basic um, for basic use if you want to practice this way you can um, go ahead and then practice to add different colors like this now um, let us try to change the font color so the since we have already learned in our previous classes how to change a font color we have to use the same deck now let us try to change the font color of a computer courses so if we go up out here we have a computer course and then if you want to change the font color we just have to write font color is equal to let's say um, red now we want that font color red only for these computer courses you may close the phone okay now let's save it and then if we refresh it it will have a red in color so uh, for all of these uh, different uh, text out here different data you can change the font color like that and then <coughs> if you want to change the font style again you can uh, go ahead and then you can change the font style also so font face is equal to let's write 40 Okay. again you can also change the font size also if you wish so let's save it let's go back to our browser and then if we refresh it it will have a 4d font color so um, that's how we can work around a different font color font style background color I mean, and then a seal color row columns and so on so that is the end of our class so thank you see you in the next class